So the excuse for being on hold for 12 minutes is um, they hung up, they had problems with their phone, so they unplugged it, which of course disconnected the call. And now they are um, trying to run over there and let customer service know, hey, the woman you were helping, you hung up on when you unplugged your phones and then decided not to plug your phones back in. Yay. So we'll get to more in a minute. So what update they have is that supposedly the phones are still not working over in customer service. The young man asked me what I needed. I explained everything over to him again. And then he proceeds to tell me, do you know her name? Well, of course, they never give you their name in customer service. He says, well, let me see if I can track her down. So that's what we're waiting on. If they didn't hang up on me again. No, it says I'm still there. Oh, there's that hideous music. So we're waiting to see if they can find the person that was originally trying to help me. I don't know. My patience is running thin with this. So now they're saying, oh, you must have... Um, well, at first, they tried to tell me that I bought the card off the street and it had a zero balance. I proceeded to let them know, no, this was purchased by my mother as a gift for me. And the first thing I had her do is check her bank account and to see that she had the $50 come out of her bank account. It had. So that negated that argument they were going to give me. Then they tried to tell me, well, then you must have called to check the balance and called a different number than Walmart of somebody that's scanning and taking the numbers off the back of the cards. And I said, well, that didn't happen either. I said, the card was purchased on the 25th. It was set in my wallet till today. The money was removed yesterday. No purchase at all, just gone. I said, the back of this had not even been scratched off till we got to that check out because they needed the pin number off the back to figure out what was happening with this said card. So then they say, well, then you need to call this number. And I said, I've already called the number on the back of the card. No, no, no. This is a special number that'll get you to where you need to be and it'll unblock it or whatever. So I call said number. It's the exact same voicemail that tells you at the end, hey, all lines are busy right now. Goodbye. So still, we have no progress of this whatsoever. What patience I have is gone. I'm going to have to take a little breather, and we will get back to this little saga in a bit. Since I'm getting the runaround, and everything, all the numbers I call are, hey, we don't know what to tell you here at the local area, or B, at the 800 number, you don't get a real person. You get all lines are busy and they just hang up on you. So my next step is I'm filing a Better Business Bureau complaint. I'm going to file a complaint with the AG's office and the Federal Trade Commission. Let's see if they respond back. Because I know within 24 hours of a Better Business Bureau complaint, they have to respond to you. They have to respond to the complaint within 24 hours. Let's see. Or it affects their rating. So let's see if any of this says. I've already Twittered it out with Twitter. I've Instagrammed it and I Facebooked it and I've hashtagged them. Somebody from Walmart should be getting the message real clear. I understand this is a very different video since my channel is an art channel than you ever hear from me, but it is not fair or right of these corporates when we spend our hard-earned money or hard-earned money is spent and then we have to work to prove what they did wrong. They should take more of an initiative instead of, I don't know. I, well, the computer says, well, I don't know. They can't, I, I even have a printout of the history. The nice lady from Sam's Club printed out a history of the card. It just literally shows that it was purchased on the 25th of November and that the money left it at 4.43 p.m. yesterday doesn't say any purchases were done, it's just the money's just gone. And nobody seems to know where or how, except trying to blame the consumer. When I said, look, it was purchased because it showed coming out of her account, because so, they kept trying to say, what's well, a fraud? It's fraud. No, so you're telling me your store's a fraud? This is, you're a fraud. That's what, that's what I'm getting. And they're like, no, well, no. I said, so why are you saying fraud? Because it literally shows that it came out of her account through Walmart. So how is it a fraudulent 
hard. So that negated that. And they said, well, then you must have called the 1-800 number from somewhere else, and it's a scam. And they just zapped the money. I said, that didn't happen. So rather than trying to figure out what has happened, they put it all on the consumer to figure out why none of this is working. And I'm so out of here with that. So I'm going to file those complaints. I'm sorry this is negative. If you don't want to hear it, just pass on. I'm sorry. But I really think Walmart needs to take responsibility. Goodness knows they're making everybody take responsibility for everybody else's actions. Let them try and at least take responsibility for something and help a consumer instead of just taking their money.